as repeatedly I have said, for your test one and test two, your objective. So many of you will just take it for granted. I know I don't want to do the mechanism because it's not going to test me. But during the final exam, we are going to test you. So you better be prepared. Okay, don't wait at the last minute. Then you from chapter one to chapter eleven. It's quite a lot. You cannot finish it in one or two days. Okay. So without wasting our time, let us start our lecture today. Okay, this is where we stopped last week. We learned about the what we call Williamson's ether synthesis. Okay, you use a so-called a base, react with the OH group. Okay, then synthesize an uh, alkoxide. Then this alkoxide it will then because this is a nucleophile will then attack the C here. Okay, the partial positive C here. Then X group left. Then you get a epoxide. Okay, this is the so-called the very general method to to make epoxide. Okay. Then we will go to the reaction of epoxide. Okay, there are two reaction. Uh, later I will explain to you. Now uh, let's start. Uh, epoxide do not contain a good leaving group. However, an epoxide consists of a strain three membrane. You see the three membrane here. Okay. Although this uh, ether is not a very good leaving group, but because of the string, a uh, three member ring, so it will tend to undergo what we call ring opening reaction. Okay, you will tend, if you have a nucleophile, you attack the uh, partially positive C, then the bond will break because of the very strain, uh, what we call this, uh, the structures of the epoxide. Okay, then we will get a compound with the two functional group adjacent uh, to each other, anti position. Okay? One is here, one is there. So this is the, what we call a common reaction for uh, epoxide. Okay? Then the reaction occur readily with a strong nucleophile. First is the nucleophile or acid such as HJ where Jack is a nucleophilic atom. Okay, so the example showing here, uh, for example, cyanide is a nucleophile. So this is a symmetrical epoxide. So the cyanide will either attack the C here or the C here. You will get the same product because it's a uh, symmetrical epoxide. Okay, either if you attack from here, the bond will break, then the O will belong to the C here. If you attack from here, Okay, this bond will break and the O will be there. Your, com your product will still be anti product. Okay, or you react with the HJ. Okay, in this case, HCl. And the me mechanism will be slightly different, uh, which we will study uh, in the next few slides. Okay, so this is the general mechanism for uh, what we call uh, epoxide react with uh, nucleophile. Okay, of course, the second step is a protonation. Eh? We will show the mechanism later. So, all strong nucleophiles open an epoxide ring by a two step reaction. Eh? Two step reaction. The first step is the attack of the nucleophile to the partially positive carbon here and the breaking of the bond, okay, of the CO bond. This is a concerted uh, reaction happened in one step. Then, after that, you get uh, this uh, intermediate. Okay, with the nucleophile attached to a carbon and uh, the adjacent carbon have a O a negative there. Okay, then the second step will be this uh, uh, undergo a protonation to form a hydroxyl group. Okay, so the, uh, the end result is a two functional group on adjacent atoms in the anti position. Okay, so what the first step is the attack of nucleophile to the partially positive uh, C then breaking the bond okay and the alkoxide in this case uh, will undergo a protonation okay react with the water that's why you have two steps first one is a nucleophile the second one with water okay then it's already mentioned here eh? protonation of RO negative with water to generate a neutral product with two functional group of adjacent atoms so the common nucleophile used in this reaction is uh, hydroxide okay uh, alkyl oxide, cyanide, okay, sulfide, okay, and ammonia. Okay, these are all the common uh, nucleophile use. Okay, then the, this mechanism is a SN2 mechanism. Okay, SN2 
because it involves two species. Okay. Then, uh, how about considering this uh, example? The first epoxide is a symmetrical epoxide. Okay, the nucleophile open the epoxide ring from the back side. This is you can think in this way. This is the top with which the O belong to, and this is the bottom. Okay, so the nucleophile always attack from the below, below the three member ring. If you attack from above, then is is you know, the oxygen there is going to have an electron cloud. Then uh, the so so called the the nucleophile will not be very stable eh, to attack from this position. So the nucleophile always attack from below the ring. Okay. After the attack, then the, the so-called the CO bond break, then we will be at the anti position. You see, in this case, the CH3O methoxide and OH uh, in this group and are anti in the product. Okay. If, for example, this is symmetrical epoxide, how about an uh, unsymmetrical epoxide. This is unsymmetrical because there are two metal group attached to the epoxide, uh, attached to the C. Eh? So because of static effect, the nucleophile will always attack from the less substituted carbon. Okay, so now you have two metal group and this one 2H. So uh, due to the static effect, the nucleophile will not attack from here. It will attack the less substituted C then the bond break, then you get the anti position here. Everyone clear? This is, this is very simple, eh? not difficult to understand. So, in case of the nucleophile, it will attack from the less substituted carbon. Okay? But later, we will see uh, when you are using HZ, okay, the, the result will be different. Uh, in, in the next slide, we will show you why they are different. So, and uh, for this example, how about this example? This epoxide ring is on the uh, ring. Okay, it's on the ring. So you know that uh, this is uh, what we call, uh, is pointing out here. So the nucleophile must attack from the, the back. Okay, this is the uh, above, this is below. So nucleophile will attack from here, either here or either here, from the, the, the opposite side of the epoxide. Okay, therefore, it's possible to attack here or it's possible also to attack here. Therefore, you get two products, okay? uh, enantiomer product, a racemic mixture. This show that the, the nucleophile attack from this position, okay, at the back, and this compound show that the epoxide attack from this position at the back, okay, and you can see the stereochemistry is you know, uh, it has been inverted, okay? So this is pointing out, because it attacked from the back, so this is pointing at the back. Okay, you will get a, a arisemic mixture. Of course, the second step is undergo protonation. If it attack from here, can you see or not? Okay, just try to imagine now, this is in the ring, okay? Oh here, uh, so pointing out, so now your nucleophile OCH3 negative attack from the back. Okay, so this bond uh, will break. Okay, so what you will get is a is a OCH3. In this case, uh, uh, you have a you have a O here, O negative. Okay, because this bond break, giving the electron to the O here. Then it will undergo it will react with water again, okay, to yield the, the product show, okay, to yield, to yield this product. Oh. Okay. Wait, huh? <laughs> to yield this product, okay, then for, for if you attack from here, if the nucleophile attack from here, uh, then you will get the, this product. So because there are equal chances of the nucleophile to attack from both positions, that's why you get a racemic mixture, 50% 50, 50 of the product. Okay, so just 
Read again, methoxide attack from the backside at either the CO bond, sin, SYN, eh, not SYM, eh, sorry, attack at either side occur with equal probability. Okay, a racemic mixture is formed. Optically inactive starting material give an optically inactive product. Okay, because this is a racemic mixture, so they are optically inactive. Okay, how about this? Okay, look, how about this? This is also the same, eh? This is also in the ring. Uh, actually, it's, it, I think it, it just show you from the different view, so you can see better. Okay, so this is epoxide attack to the ring. So now you can see that the uh, methoxide attack from below. Either you can attack from here or attack from here. Okay, so you will get this. This is the, just the different presentation of the the previous one. Okay, the previous uh, structure because the previous structure you cannot really see. Eh, the so-called how does the nucleophile attack? So now you can see because this is in a six membrane, the O is pointing up. Okay, this showing that this is pointing out of the plane. So the nucleophile will attack from below, from either position. Okay, then you will get the racemic uh, enantiomer products. Okay, clear. So how about for the acid HZ? Okay, clearly. The mechanism will be different. Just now, because you have a nucleophile, so the first step is a nucleophilic attack to the partially positive charged carbon. Now, you have an acid and you have a lone pair. So the mechanism is different. Eh? The mechanism for the reaction with acid are, are the same. The protonation happens first. Okay, the first step is a, a protonation. Now, you have epoxide, a lone pair on the epoxide, the lone pair of the epoxide will attack the a proton in the acid. Okay, so you will form this a protonated uh, so-called uh, epoxide with a positive charge. Okay, then the second step will be the attack of the nucleophile to here and to form a also an anti uh, product. Okay, two functional group on the adjacent atoms and also normally is in the anti position. Okay, so this is uh, the other way round. For the if you're using nucleophile. Nucleophilic attack first, then protonation in the second step. If you are using acid, protonation first, nucleophilic in the uh, nucleophilic attack in the second step. Okay, clear? But uh, this is something that you need to bear in mind. Eh? Previously, we learned that if you are using a nucleophile, the, uh, 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 nucle the nucleophile will attack from a less substituted uh, side of the epoxide. But now, in this case, it's, it's different. It's the opposite. Why? Because you can see that after the first protonation step, it formed this intermediate species and the so-called experiment show that the transition state for this species with a positive charge here and this make it become more positive. If you have an alkyl group attached to it, this species is more or this intermediate is more stable. Okay, so the nucleophile tend to attack the more substituted carbon. Okay, this is the opposite of what we have learned using uh, uh, previously using the uh, uh, nucleophile. Okay, uh, this is using acid. So if you're using acid, you will tend to attack the site with more uh, substituted carbon. Clear? For the reason that the transition state of the, this species is more stable. That's why th this product is formed. Okay, instead of nucleophilic uh, attack to the less substituted carbon, now the nucleophile, in this case, the chloride attack the more substituted carbon. You know? The reason is that this intermediate species or transition state is more stable because the positive charge here making the C here become more uh, positive. Okay, from the induction effect. And because you have the two metal group, which is an electron donating group, making this C more stable or this transition state more stable. So the nucleophile uh, will attack the C here. Okay? So the first reason is the uh, steric uh, effect. This one is the stability of the transition state. So two different explanations. Okay? That's why you get a two different product. So if you compare this transition state is less stable. Okay, uh, this is less stable, so it does not form. This product does not form. 
So the transition state A is lower in energy. When we say the transition state is lower in energy, it means it's more stable. Okay, because the partially positive charge is located on the more substituted carbon. Okay, more substituted means the metal group is the electron donating group, eh, making it more stable. In this case, therefore, nucleophilic attack occur from the back side and SN2 characteristic at the more substituted carbon. Okay. Clear? So now we go to the summary. Okay, this is what we have learned. If you have a unsymmetrical epoxide, if you attack with a, a, a strong nucleophile, you will tend to attack from the less substituted C. So attack from here. So the, the end result is this one. Of course, you need to go through the protonation step to get the hydroxyl group here. Okay, while for the acid, if you are using acid, or in this case is a methanol, okay, methanol also have a H here. Okay, now in this case, the, uh, the hydroxyl group here become a, 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 a acidic uh, proton. You still remember just now, uh, previous last, uh, the previous lecture, we react the alcohol with sodium hydride. In that case, the hydride become a base and the alcohol uh, proton become an acid. So this is the same, same, uh, same form of uh, reaction. You have an electron lone pair here. So this lone pair will attack the H here. Okay, oh, actually it might be different eh? because now this is catalyzed by acid. So this is actually more acidic. If you compare to the, the, the methanol, this is more acidic. It might be from here. Eh? The first step is the uh, electron lone pair attack the acid here. Maybe we can try out the mechanism. Eh? Uh, let's see. Eh? This one. Hey, sorry. Never mind. Later, we will work out the mechanism. Eh? See what is the, the, the first step. Hey, where is it already? Eh? Oh. Okay, this is later, we work out later the mechanism. See which one is possible. Huh? I, it's possible huh? because you have acid, hydro, uh, uh, sulfuric acid here. So the first step could be the attack of this to the sulfuric acid. We will work out the mechanism later. Let, let me finish this first. Okay? And, uh, and that's why now the attack, we pay attention to here. This is more substituted uh, uh, C. So the attack will go to the more substituted one because the first step is the protonation step. Okay, so the conclusion is with, with a strong nucleophile, nucleophilic attack at the less substituted carbon. With the acid, the nucleophilic attack at the more substituted carbon. Eh? This is what we want to uh, know, pay attention to. Okay, ah, now we have some time for exercise. Please try this exercise. Don't, please don't look at their notes. Eh? So, you must be able to do this exercise. Eh? For example, what is this? Sodium hydride. Hydride is a, is a base, isn't it? It's a base. Then it will react with which functional group? Okay, uh, I better don't tell you the answer. Now everyone please try the exercise. Okay, and I work out the mechanism just now. Okay, you will expect to get, you need to, you need to find out the answer for A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, and I give you a tip, F have more than one answer. Okay, because there is a, a competition between SN2 and E2 reaction. Okay, try to work out eh, the answer.
Okay, please try. Hey, not that one, eh? It's this one on the board. Try the exercise here. Okay. Try this. Okay, not this one. <laughs> I'm still thinking why do we need the acid here? Have you uh, have you already got the notes for chapter nine? Huh? Where is uh, your class rep? Where's your name already? Hidayah. No, no Hidayah. Where is uh, no Hidayah? Ke datang. Mana? Ah, ha, did I pass it to you the chapter nine? Okay. Please don't don't look at the answer. Eh? You have to try your own one. Okay, but you can check the notes. Okay or not, later I will call your name and you have to show the answer. So everyone have to do. What's your name? Discussion. Discussion. Okay. But the mechanism is not. Mechanism is not salah lah. NA positive, NA H negative. Okay? He always attack from the hydride to the Ah, yeah lah. Tapi ini, this is this is wrong. Okay, you can just attack from the H negative to the H here. Faham? Ini tak ada. Ini bukan ini macam. The sodium hydride 
Okay, sodium hydride is Na positive, H negative. Okay, uh, you do not need to write something like this. This is totally wrong. Okay, it's always attacked from the hydride to the. I just show you a tips, lah. Huh? Yep, yeah. alcohol, isn't it? This attack. Isn't it very simple? A base react with the acidic uh, proton in the alcohol. Then you generate the alkoxide, isn't it? This is what this is ether synthesis. Williamson ether synthesis, isn't it? So the product you will expect to get in B is what is an ether. Boleh. This one I still cannot figure out <laughs> why you need an acid here. Okay, but we are not going to test you in here because what you study is the epoxy react with the HZ. Eh? This is maybe slightly out of topic. I, uh, let me go back and check why do you need a hydrochloric acid in there. Okay. Let uh, Dr. Go back and check and let you know the answer huh? next week. Finish? So you will expect this type of question in your final exam. Better is you can draw out the mechanism for each each mechanism uh, each reaction. Then you can get the answer. There is no line here. Hey, after A you get B. Why you go to here? When B B B B is where? Okay, ah, uh, that here, ah, uh, betul. <coughs> Why you have a uh, OH negative here? So what you get? After reaction with this, what you get? Oh, what? And, um, okay, if you like to put it, no need to show the sodium also. Yeah? Okay, after that, what you get? What is the... Not yet. <laughs> Okay, please never show something like this. This is wrong. Sodium hydride is not a, a, a covalent bond. Okay? You, you can also you cannot also show this. This is also wrong. There's no bond here. Eh? This is covalent bond. Okay? This positive and negative term showing is a ionic bond. Isn't it? This is wrong. You can never show this. Many of you also show this. Okay? In fact, you, you do not need to show the sodium in the intermediate state. Okay? Everyone got the answer for the first question? Okay, let me ask. Lim Jia Chin. Who is Lim Jia Chin? Q I N. Not here. Where is the attendant list for today? Okay. Huh? Lim Jia Chin is here. Where is Lim Jia? Lim Jia Chin. 
the one to admit. <coughs> huh? Your name is here. If you are not here, mean someone write your name for you. Who is Lim Jia Chin? Not here. Your friend? You do not know who is Lim Jia Chin? L I M J I A Q I N. She is not here. Who wrote the name for her? Her or him? <laughs> huh? Please don't eh, ever do it. If anything happened to her, outside, accident, but her name is here, mean he, appear, he or she is appear in two places. Okay? Oi. <laughs> Pei Ling. Who is Umi Pei Ling? Also not here. Also Kong Pei Ling. Kong Pei Ling? Did you write your name for your friend? Huh? Same writing, eh? Please don't ever do it. Okay, now you come to in front to show your answer. I would like to say again, uh, please don't ever write your name for your friends. If they do not come to the class, mean they are absent. Uh, it's not a big deal. But when you write their name for them, and anything happen to them outside, uh, doctor will get into trouble, or you will get into trouble. Okay. Show the answer for A and B. For C and D, C and D, Naji, Najiha, is it Najiha? Ah, please come, C and D. Najiha. For question number E and F, F is a very long answer. Anyone want to try? Leong Kong Chong. Leong Kong Chong. Who is Leong Kong Chong? K or C? Leong, K W O N G, yes, Guang, Guang, uh, Leong Guang Chong, please come. K W eh? O N G, Guang. Get ready with your answer, okay? The first step is very simple. Answer for E is very simple, isn't it? Huh? Alcohol react with PBR3, what you will get? Then from there, alkyl halide react with a, a nucleophile, or it can be nucleophile, or it can be a, a base also. Okay? Everyone got this answer? Everyone got this answer? This is for A. This is for B. Okay? Everyone get this answer? You can show this 
or you, if you don't want to show the sodium also is can is is okay. Okay, we want to get the alkoxide only. Okay, a negative here. Okay, so from here you show this. This show how you got the answer. In the exam, you just need to show the answer. Do not need to show the mechanism. Mechanism is for your own reference because the answer the, the so-called the question didn't ask for mechanism. Okay? If you know the mechanism, then you are very sure your answer is correct or wrong. Okay? C and D. Who is there? C and D? Okay. Okay, rub it. You just need to compare eh, your answer with your friend's answer. If your answer is wrong, better find out why you didn't get the correct answer. Okay? Add it in. Okay. Try, eh? Huh? Please try. Got your answer? Hey, DSCL. So, we basically finish this chapter. Okay? So, tomorrow we will continue with chapter 10. But there are a few more questions on the slide. Okay? You can go back and try. Be quick, be quick. Very slow, eh? Correct or not? Correct answer or not? Correct or wrong? Anyone says correct, please raise your hand. Nobody want to say. Anyone says wrong? The answer you got is the same or different from this one? Huh? Hey, please answer. Correct or wrong? Do not know. Correct, you think it's correct? Anyone think is correct, please raise your hand. I want to see. No. Anyone say it's wrong, please raise your hand. Wrong. Raise your hand. Be confident. Please, class. Oh my god. Very bad, huh? Eh? Anyone say it's wrong, please raise your hand. Anyone got a different answer? Anyone got this same answer? This is wrong, eh? Wrong answer. Anyone have a correct answer? What is this? What is the purpose of? Can you draw out this? Is it? Then you have ROH, what you learn? 
Attack here. Come out. What is the purpose of using this? OTS group, tosylate group. It's a better living group. Living group. If this is a living group, can the living group attack a nucleophile? And then why you say it's correct? <laughs> Understand? You can draw like this, but you have to leave it. It becomes OTS until this step is correct. But this step onward is wrong. Why is wrong? This is a, a nucleophile. And we know that the first step is the retention of the stereochemistry. So the stereochemistry is the same. The second step is the inversion. So this have to attack from the back. This have to attack from the back. Of course, you cannot show here. Then the answer will be Okay, uh, this one have to H. Okay, everyone got this answer? Let's check whether we got the correct answer or not. Uh, this is for what B? Ah, D, isn't it? This is question number D. This is C, this is D. So, answer for D. C? So, everyone get the wrong answer? Huh? Anyone get this answer? Uh, why you do want, don't want to admit? You are a university student. You need to be confident. You are not primary school stu uh, student, you know? Okay, come. Question number E and F. Huh? Apa itu? E2. Uh, bukan, E2 memang substitution because OTS is a very good living group. Okay? Okay? Everyone clear? Everyone clear? Hey, be faster, huh? people want to come in already. Faster, faster. Any question? Just now? Huh? The OTS is always an... Uh, actually, could be E2 also. Eh? Can I not see the note? Uh, OTS also could be E2. Eh? E2 SN2 and E2 reaction. It's also possible. Eh? Please check the note. The notes? I haven't got the notes. Okay, for the OTS, eh, if you check the notes, it could be also uh, E2 product if I'm not if I'm not uh, mistaken. The first step is correct. Second step is correct, but you miss out a lot of answer. Okay, let's see. Now we have no time ready. Let's check the answer for F. Hey, why it doesn't appear? So, F have so many answers, you only get one mark, which is substitution answer, and you have the elimination, beta elimination answer. Eh? I already given you the tips at the beginning, isn't it? Yet, you show one answer. So, you, it's going to be minus two marks. If your answer has five marks, you only get uh, one or two marks. Okay? So, make sure you got this also. Okay? We have no time. If you have any question, uh, we can discuss tomorrow. Okay? Now people want to come in already. Okay? Thank you, class.